Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on an early 90s Hot Wheels Flash Cider. This little baby was featured in yesterday's video. I did a big unboxing from my buddy Joey. As soon as you see that color, you can probably imagine which truck this used to be. Yellow and pink on the doors and it's finished in that kind of 90s blue. So I thought today we'll take this truck and rather than doing a regular restoration on it, I thought we would turn this truck into that super rare Hooters truck. Okay. For those of you who don't know what Hooters is, it's a very family friendly, wholesome place to eat that has great wings and beer. So we're going to make that Hooters truck. You can only find one example for sale and it was on eBay and it was $30. $30 US. As you can see, this one here has been custom painted black. The glass is supposed to be tinted on these anyways. It's just dark plastic, so that's not actually painted. So we're getting away easy there. And our base has a little bit of paint on the bumpers and the grill. And I think we're gonna just be dousing this thing in some super clean and hopefully we can remove all that. Oh man, this thing doesn't have an interior, eh? Hmm. So I figure we're gonna repaint this thing 100%. So to get rid of all this chrome, we're gonna dip it in super clean and we'll come back and check that out in a little bit. I'll put our windshield in there too. Bloop. I think I'm gonna need to use another tactic for this one. So I'm gonna just drop it right in the jar. I'll admit it, I had a little bit of trouble stripping this one. As soon as that black paint lifted, there's this fresh blue paint underneath there. So Joey, I wonder if he remembers painting this one as a kid. I was thinking about maybe uh, putting a bunch of cars on eBay as a, a little bit of a fundraiser. I've been trying to raise the money to get the P.O. box reopened. Doing videos, you know, every second or third day. You end up with a ton of cars and actually they're kind of getting in the way. So a little something back here. Looks like I got all our paint chips handled, so I can head over to the spray booth. We gotta lay down a little bit of white sealer. So I guess I'll do that and then I'll probably clear coat because we're gonna be doing a bunch of decals. I'll be back with a white glossy pickup truck. Why don't we have a look and see how this stuff is doing. It's been a little bit more than an hour and you can see all that paint is gonzo. Cool, so that worked really good. I'm gonna go give this a rinse. There we go, now I got the opportunity to do a little bit of sanding on these bumpers and we can get this thing kind of fixed up before we go spray it again. Got a couple little dents and dings. 
We're going to be repainting this with a little bit of Mollen towel. We'll spray it out of the airbrush, but that's kind of a temporary solution for doing stuff like this. It's the cheapest way right now. In the future, I'm going to explore some different, different products. That kind of stuff has come a long way, even in the last few years. Someone's got a nice little license plate holder and by popular request, and by that I mean you guys just harassing me to put license plates on all the cars, I went ahead and printed out a sheet of 164 scale license plates. You're welcome. I was just preparing my decals. I saw something crazy on Instagram. You guys will probably laugh at. I'm gonna show you. You guys like Dodge Challengers, right? How do you guys feel about Dodge Challenger dualies? Hey, you into that? <laughs> so bizarre. All right, let's get started on some decals here. I'm gonna do these these nice a bright Hooters Fender ones first, I think. Good place to start. Good as any. All right, let us begin. I'm gonna use micro set. I find whenever I just use water, unless you can let it dry overnight, it seems like there's always water that gets trapped below the decal. Where the micro set, I don't have that problem. So if you're one of those guys that's uh, been struggling having nice decals, start using a setting solution and I bet you your world will change. All right, maybe we'll switch over to the hood and do the big one. <laughs> Sweet. Really got to pay attention to these corners and make sure that none of this stuff lifts again. I think it's down for now. But I don't want to completely ignore it, so I'm just going to keep checking back. It's looking pretty good so far. We got a little number. I'm gonna put on the hood right here though. A little number seven. Perfection. Hell yeah, it's looking good so far. What do you guys think? Me digging this build? It looks like a real easy one, but honestly, when you're putting on this many decals, it's hard sometimes to just get them all perfect, you know? I've been working I've been working on it quite a bit. It's looking pretty good so far though. I'm gonna switch on over to this side and do our other fender fender hooters. I really like the bright white with these uh, these decals. Some nice color combinations happening here. We'll move over to the back end here. So now on the one example of this truck that I could find, it had a classic mixer right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Just make her as uh, close as we can. And then the last little bit, and we go on the tailgate here, we got a little another a small little hooters for the tailgate. Little one of these bad boys. Hell yeah, looking good, man. Check this thing out. I like it. It's gonna look real nice on the shelf, or maybe one of your guys' shelves. Zoop. So I think I'll be able to paint my couple little details I was going to do and then I can go give this a clear coat and we can move on to painting this base up. That should be interesting. I'm going to click those back on my Hemo stats and this is going to go to the paint oven and it's going to go bake for a little bit. Try to evaporate some of those decals a bit before the clear coat. And then I'm going to meet you in the spray booth and we're going to go give this 
a new coating with my liquid chrome, which is uh, obviously has a leak. It's it's making a mess everywhere. It's just about ready to do an assembly here. We just put some mainline wheels on there. These are the proper wheels that would have been on the Hooters truck. Got a little license plate on there. I've sanded our windshield down to 2000 grit. I was just waiting on our windshield to dry. I just dipped her in some floor shine and then we'll do an assembly. I'm looking forward to this one. So what do you guys think of this build? I'd say we saved another one from the bin for sure. If you guys remember when this truck came in, it was all painted up. The base was painted, the wheels were crusty. Now she's looking pretty good. It's got that vintage 1993 NASCAR vibe. I like it. I'm hoping that one of you guys has a little bit more information on this design. Like I said, I could only find the one example on eBay for 30 bucks. So it's kind of strange to me that there's no other listings for it anywhere. So I'm hoping one of you guys knows something about it. Hoping to do more builds like this. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.